Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV. This is Stu Jones featuring episode two of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2017. And on our last episode, we left off with a large group of boats, about 40 powerboat teams leaving Miami and heading their way down through the Florida Keys to Marathon, our new destination at the Faro Blanco Resort. So let's catch up to them and see how they're doing as they weave their way through the Florida Keys. Kicking things off here is Jake and Gina Nossman came all the way from Oklahoma with this very cool 48-foot MTI team wired up. Looks like they're passing through Key Largo to Tavernier right now, enjoying the ride through the scenic Florida Keys. Now let's welcome one of our newest members, Conrad Peralta, along with uh, Claudia Bini and Camila Peralta in this really cool brand new 2017 Midnight Express 43 powered by four big Mercury Verado 400Rs. In his video bio, Conrad uh, complimented us. He said that the event was a great experience and it was far more than he expected. About his boat, well he says his boat is his second wife. He loves the power of this big machine. Here's another impressive center console machine. This is the new Nortec 450 Sport, powered by five Mercury 400 Verados, and it is our official pace boat for the Thursday run. Uh, I had a chance to ride on board in this five engine, that's five Mercury Verado 400 Rs. This is the new Sport 450 center console, and it was provided by SoFlo Performance Boats uh, out of Fort Lauderdale which is the Nortec dealer. Riding along with Tron Scow from the factory. And here's a little clip uh, of an interview I did with Tron at the Miami Boat Show just a week earlier. Here with our friends at Nortec High Performance, Tron Scow uh, on this magnificent 45 with four 400s. Uh, you know, the showmanship is spectacular. These boats, uh, they look fantastic just sitting here. But then you can go out and run them really hard and they go fast too, they tell me. Yeah, this one with the four 400 is over 80 miles an hour. And uh, at cruise speed around 50 to 60 miles an hour, we are able to achieve one mile to the gallon, which is incredible for a size boat like this that weighs 22,000 pounds. One mile to the gallon. Uh, never thought we'd be talking about fuel economy on a big boat, but it does matter. It does help. And But this time you can bring 15 or 16 of your friends on board because we've got a giant open cockpit set up, lots of seating, a wide beam, and yet still fast and performs well. Let's talk about some of the changes or upgrades you've done to the inside and the creature comforts of the boat. Yeah, one of the main things we did, we created this really nice system in the back here where you can really hang out. There's an optional table. We came up with this big bar area where you have a cool plate. You can keep your drinks nice and cool. The boat has a generator, so you run your air conditioning uh, full time inside the cabin. Also, one of the other really main features on this boat, it has real glass windshields. Your staples now are the 34s and the 39s. You probably built more 39s than any other boat. So, how's that program going and what have you got here at the show? Uh, the 39 program is still going super strong. We build a 39 and a 34 every week. Yep. And uh, at the show, we're displaying one with quad 350s on it. And we also have a 392 uh, Superfish. The regular 390 is more like a cruiser boat. You can still fish from it, yeah. but it's more tended to party animals than yeah. the Superfish. And we do have a few of those party animals around the Florida Powerboat Club. And that is an ideal segue to what is happening next week, which is the Miami Boat Show Poker Run, our 22nd year. Of course, Nortec will be involved and be joining us for that. Now, let's talk about what boat you're going to bring because I probably need a ride on a Nortec soon. Yeah, we're going to actually bring a sister boat to this one, which happened to have five engines instead of four. Five. So it's a Quint 400 boat, and uh, that's the one we're going to showcase down there. It's a beautiful boat. It runs right north of... I was hoping to get 90 out of it, but I got so far 88. So with some prop works, I might be able to make it go over 90. Well, that's okay. We're not uh, we're not looking for any speed records. We're looking for a fun weekend in the Florida Keys, and I think that anybody who gets on this 45 is going to have a fun ride either way, whether it's got three motors or four motors or five motors. And Tron, once again, thanks for your continued support of the Florida Powerboat Club. I'm sure that you've got a lot of people anxious to get on this boat, so I'm going to let you keep selling and, uh, and enjoy this beautiful day. Thank you a lot, Stu, and thanks again for all the help and friendship over the years. So let's get back to the poker run as our 40 club members and their crews make their way to Marathon on the Thursday afternoon here, the first run of the Miami Boat Show poker run on this beautiful February day. And 
there's a great aerial shot of Ferro Blanco Resort and Yacht Club. Uh, and of course, next door is the brand new Courtyard Marriott, a neighboring resort hotel that's going to be one of two hotels that's uh, going to be harboring and providing most of the lodging of all of our guests here this weekend. Of course, we had our drone pilot waiting for us as the boats all came in, and uh, thanks to him for getting these great shots of all the boats as they get settled in for the weekend. Of course, there's a lot of MTIs here joining us this weekend, too, uh, doing their factory rendezvous. So we'll let these guys settle in for the night here in Marathon and head back to Miami as we get the Friday group here, another 25 boats heading down for the Miami run. Friday morning and we have yet another beautiful day here for our Miami Boat Show Poker Run uh, 2017 edition. Remember now a whole bunch of boats have already left out of the Hallover Marine Center in North Miami and the rest of us including our new girls of FPC and my wife Jackie are checking in the crews, handing out wristbands, uh, serving up some coffee and bagels and and giving me a chance to do a quick safety recap on the dock so we can plan a great day ahead. Let's welcome Whitney and Brandy, our two newest girls of FPC, who are on their first poker run here with Florida Powerboat Club. And it looks like they've got their bikinis on, and the card pulls out, and they are doing their first assignment with style here from the docks at Grove Harbor. And of course, everyone always asks me, Stu, where do you find all these pretty girls? Well, actually, there's a secret. We had a big party a week earlier. It was the Miami Boat Show Bash, which we staged at Monty's at Miami Beach Marina. And it was at that event that we had the uh, traditional swimwear fashion showcase where we met about 10 or 12 beautiful ladies. And it was at that event that we also nominated uh, two or three contestants uh, to take on contracts with the Florida Powerboat Club for future events. So that's where we met Whitney here, uh, who made a big splash at that event, and here she is now doing her first gig. And of course, we'll have more highlights from the Miami Boat Show Bash in a future episode here covering the Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2017. Back to the cards now as Whitney and her girlfriend Brandy are handing off cards. This is first card of a series of five that they'll receive for the poker run hand we always pay more attention to the very first card here of every event right here at Grove Harbor because it gives us a great photo and video opportunity and really captures the spirit of the poker run as these teams get ready to head out on the waters as we get started now with the run we're gonna pay tribute to a very special club member who's been very helpful with uh, photo and video from his LSA or light sport aircraft this sea ray amphibious uh, flying boat this is Louis Sotero, and he's from Miami. We've seen him many times on the Florida Powerboat Club events, and he's going to be joining us today for the entire run. We're going to pick up a helicopter in, at Gilbert's in Key Largo, but for the Miami run through Biscayne Bay, uh, we're joining Louis. Now, here's an excerpt of some of the video clips that we picked up uh, from the day prior and from previous events, and Louis has just somehow managed to get these cameras placed so perfectly on the wings and the struts and in the cockpit of this Sea Ray aircraft that uh, we just wanted to create this video segment to show you some of the cool stuff that he's captured, including a day earlier when he joined the group for the Thursday run from Miami all the way down to Florida Keys. There's a shot right there of uh, Robert Hooker uh, in the 43-foot Nortec heading south on Biscayne Bay with uh, all those vapor trails. And here's a nice shot of the Card Sound Bridge from a different angle. Uh, again, you can see a long line of boats there off in the distance passing under the Card Sound Bridge uh, into Barn Sound, single file, one by one as they get closer to Jewfish Creek for the lunch stop. For you flying buffs, here's a little bit of technical information about the Sea Ray aircraft. It's an experimental aircraft, which means that you buy it as a kit and you build it yourself. Uh, it takes anywhere from 400 to 600 hours for somebody uh, to build one from scratch. Uh, they run on a Rotax powered motor, about uh, close to 100 horsepower, four cylinder Rotax. It's got a lot of miles per gallon, according to Lewis, who tells me he can fly for hours at a time without having to refuel. Our camera crew riding along now with John Wittenberger and the 36 Sonic as Lewis came up alongside. Just to give you an idea of cruising speeds, uh, this Sea Ray will cruise between 65 and 85 miles per hour very comfortably, and they do have a top speed of well over 100 miles per hour. I'd like to say thanks to Lewis Sotero for joining us on all these runs and providing us with some great aerial coverage. 
Back on board now with John Wittenberger and his crew in the 36-foot Sonic. John and his crew have been involved with the club for quite some time. They did several poker runs uh, in a Donzi, uh, but they're really enjoying uh, this 36-foot Sonic that we're riding on board today. Quick shot of that 38-foot statement, and on the opposite side, Robert Lockyer's 32 skater. Now we're closing in on Jewfish Creek here in Key Largo as we uh, get ready for our lunch stop. Uh, changing it over now to a drone which we've hired. Uh, this is Travis Nellen who's flying his drone up and down Jewfish Creek and greeting the boats as they arrive here for the lunch stop. Uh, so we've really got it all going on here. We've got between Lewis and his Sea Ray aircraft and the drone and our boat to boat cameras and uh, now going to be a helicopter flying for the next leg. We've got multiple camera angles to capture all of the exciting coverage of this great poker run event. Now it's a good time to enjoy these fantastic drone images. Uh, we're flying by expert pilot uh, Travis Nellum from Miami, who's been working with Florida Power World Club now for a couple of years. He's a commercial pilot, and therefore he is FAA certified, and uh, he's the kind of guy you want to have on board to help out with these images. Inside now, enjoying some music from Bobby Brown as we capture some of the excitement of the lunch stop here at Gilbert's one of our favorite places to stop over in the Florida Keys. Meantime, we got the girls of FPC here. We're gonna be doing some photo shoots out on the boats right now. Nothing wrong with a little more camera time uh, with Whitney and Brandy. And I don't think there could be a better backdrop than the decks of all these high performance boats uh, in the Florida Powerboard Club with the tropical setting here at Gilbert's in Key Largo. Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2017 here Friday afternoon at Gilbert's in Key Largo. It's our second day now of running. Yesterday, about 45 boats made it from Miami down to Ferro Blanco in Marathon. Today, about another 25 boats here as we enjoy a beautiful day in paradise. You know, you can hardly believe that it's February. It feels like summer temperatures here, about 80 degrees here standing on the dock. Clear blue skies, not a cloud in the sky today, and this place is going up. We got motorcycles in the parking lot, we got boats tied up here, we got tall guys, we got short guys, we, we, got, a, we got a good crew though, and another 60 miles to run here from Key Largo down to Marathon. I know there's a whole bunch of guys down there waiting on us to arrive. These guys have just had a fantastic lunch. It's time to get back on the boats and go and play. Our helicopter has just arrived. We've got the Hydrosport Suenos getting ready to go for a ride. That's right, 64 cylinders of V8 power. Count them, one, two, three, four. Each is an eight cylinder times two, 64 cylinders and 80,000 pounds of center console. They're gonna go out and lead the chase as we head out of here on Key Largo. The rest of us are gonna fall into play. We're gonna go through those beautiful mangrove waterways all the way to Marathon for a fantastic weekend with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. Let's go. So as the group wraps up the lunch stop here at Gilbert's, uh, we now join our friends from Hydrosports Custom Boats. And they were a sponsor of the Key West Poker Run, and they just got out of the Miami Boat Show with these two big 53 Suenos models. Of course, many of you saw this EG Vodka boat at the Key West Poker Run. It was docked right front and center at the sponsor dock at the Conk Republic. Uh, four seven Marines hanging off the back. And we want to thank Elias and his crew from Team Hydrosports Customs for joining us there. What we did not manage to do was get any photo or video of the boat at the event. So this is where we had the first opportunity to shoot not only this boat, but the sister ship, which was featured at the Miami Boat Show. And that was another 53. It will be Elias's personal boat, powered by also Quad 627 Seven Marines. There it is there, the Blue Sides 53 Suenos. This, of course, was done in, a, as I'm told, a Rolls-Royce blue with a lot of custom features that Elias designed for himself. The Suenos is built in a factory in Tennessee where the buyers may visit from time to time to monitor the progress of their personal build. Thanks to Hydrosports Custom Boats for their sponsor support. Let's get back to the poker run and see how the rest of the teams are doing as we head out for the second leg of today's run. Everyone's out in Blackwater Sound getting ready for the run as we're going to head now for the next 60 miles from Key Largo through the Upper Keys, winding our way across these beautiful waterways towards Marathon, where we will be headquartered for the weekend. Getting a nice slow start here as we cross over Blackwater Sound, and pretty soon the front riders are going to break ahead. 
The faster boats, of course, being the high performance class, are going to get a front run, uh, weaving their way through the Keys. Meanwhile, back here in Blackwater Sound, we thought we would take an opportunity to catch up with our gang at Blackwater and Deep Impact Boats for a chance to take a look at the latest models. Now, leading the pack there from the front and with the big rooster tail is the brand new Blackwater 43, which I had a chance to ride on for the very first time with Terry Sobo at the helm. That's Ray Aki on the far side in his Deep Impact 399 Sport, the orange boat. The blue boat is Mark Fisher with his wife Eileen on board and a lot of their friends. And there's Mike Sands in his 36 Deep Impact. That big rooster tail was the result of Terry Sobo saying, hey, this is my new 43 Blackwater, and I'm not going to let you deep impacts catch me, at least not just yet. With the helicopter on board now, we're going to take a closer look one by one. Let's start with Ray Aki from Miami in this 399 Sport powered by Quad Mercury Verado 400s. Uh, Ray's been a longtime member with the club. This is not his first deep impact, but it is his first 399 Sport with the all-new design that was in development for more than two years. Running alongside Mark and Eileen Fisher in the sister ship, blue in color, same power, quad Mercury Verado 400s. With that power package, this boat will run close to 90 miles per hour. And now for a closer look at this sister ship, this 399 Sport. Once again, quad Mercury Verado 400s making it a top performing machine. And just look at all the seating on this boat, including the, the double bolster row, the seating up front, and again in the rear. Uh, plenty of room for all your friends. You don't have to leave anybody at home when you have this 399 Sport. Congratulations to the team for building a great product and for their continued support with the Florida Powerboat Club. We'll catch up with company owner Mark Fisher just a little later in the show. Let's say hi now to Chris and Quinn Lamort all the way from New Jersey, and let's congratulate them for joining us on their first FPC event in their very own boat. This 2000 skater was an APBA national champion in the Supercat Light class back in 01. Now it's a platform for poker runs and scenic rides through the Keys. And speaking of scenery, it really doesn't get much better than this as these boats weave through these mangrove waterways going from bay to bay in the upper Keys. And of course, you can be rest assured that there's plenty of place to go fast as Robert Lockyer in his 32 skater joined by Chris Ryder in his 36 skater are having a little cat play here in the open bay waters getting the speed cranked up to well over 100 miles per hour. Robert Lockyer later told me that this was the first weekend that he was able to finally stretch out his legs with these brand new Mercury 400 Verados on his 32 skater. Now let's get a little tighter on Chris Ryder from New York in this 36 foot skater called Team Crisis Management. And you gotta love this new 36. It's an 05 model with custom paint and listen to the power as Chris hits the throttles and blasts across these calm bay waters in the upper keys. Now we're catching up with Bobby and Lynn Kieber in this 35 foot cafe racer team Big Bad and Blue. Cigarette is an iconic brand and we had a chance to catch up with the company owner Skip Raver at the Miami Boat Show. Skip Raver once again putting on a great display here at Cigarette Racing at the Miami Boat Show. Right in the middle, smack in the middle of the show. The biggest display, the biggest tent, the only guy that puts a car on the dock. Once again, you've outdone yourself, Skip, with this display, without a doubt. Thanks a lot, Sue. We, you know, the team works very, very hard to put it together. This is our big, big, big push of the yes. year. It's a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it. And uh, we get to display new stuff like the GTO. Well, this is a 42. We've done a whole new deck, right. all new tooling, okay. and we made it a walk around. But as we're going to go through it, not only is it a walk around, but the cabin is more functional for a day boater. This is a boat that was a little bit lighter, yep. okay, that we're marketing a lot different, sure. you know? Yep. There's a few more options, but not a lot more options. Right. But it is a full standard boat. With the 400s, the first time over, Bud hasn't done anything with the props, anything else, right. so 76 miles an hour. Not bad at all, so, not bad. And it's, you know, it, it, like you said, it's a big boat, but it drives like a smaller boat. We've done some different thing with the stringers, 
a little secret sauces to make right. the boat even better. Of course, everybody wants to know what's going on with the AMG program. You spent a lot of time with your friends at Mercedes AMG uh, designing new trendy boats, uh, new concept boats. There's a brand new Mercedes AMG right there, the green one in your booth. What is that car and how does that relate to your promotion you did with this new 50? Okay, I, I'm glad you asked me these questions. Yes. Some of the technology and the ways that we've lightened this up was from working with the composites people at AMG. Right. Okay, that boat is 1,200 pounds less than the boat that was in Monaco, but it still has the cigarette ride. Right. It's easy for people to make lighter, lighter, you're gonna go faster, faster. Right. Our idea is, is better, better, better in the cigarette ride and the cigarette difference. Right. You told me at the cigarette factory about two weeks ago, you said, Stu, there's gonna be a lot of Mercury 400Rs on, hanging on the back of our boats at the show. And I'm counting them, there's four, there's four, there's four, and there's more over there. That program is just so stellar, has it not been for you? It's been great. Mercury, is no secret that that's what we put on our boats. The, the, the service, the supply chain, everything about them, the technology, is Mercury Racing and Mercury Motors is what made us successful with the center console boats and performance boats. The beautiful day of boating continues as we catch up with the rest of our Poker Run teams on the 22nd annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Now we're with John Wittenberger from New Jersey in this 36 Sonic Center Console Team on the Rocks. And they used to do events with us probably 10 years or more when we first met John in his 38-foot Donzi. And I know he's got a few other tricks up his sleeve with some other boats that are in development for his program. But right now this Sonic Center Console is doing the job because it can bring his family and bring all his friends and still have a lot of fun on these poker runs. Now let's welcome back Rick and Alan Rabb all the way from Pennsylvania and they've done this event before. In fact, they've been busy with the club for the last few years in this 1999 Fountain Fever. 38 feet in length with uh, HP 500 Mercury's and pretty much a great engine package for this uh, fountain. A fast running, great looking boat and one that is clearly giving Rick and Alan a great boating lifestyle as they join us in Florida for these poker run events. Now let's say hi to Octavio Valdivia from Georgia. Octavia, I hope I didn't butcher your name, but uh, welcome to the club. And you seem to be enjoying the day here on this great 47 Outer Limits Bad to the Bone. And I know, Octavio, that you're capable of going much, much faster, uh, but just chilling out and enjoying the scenic ride here through the Florida Keys. What you can't see in this image, what I know is there though, if you get close enough, you'll see the skulls that are implanted into the custom paintwork of this beautiful 47-foot Outer Limits. Now we're finally getting a closer look at this brand new Blackwater 43 powered by Quad Mercury Verado 350s, our sport boat, pace boat for the day, and I had a chance to ride with Terry Sobel on this big, beautiful machine. It's built for long range cruising and of course for fishing, 850 gallon fuel cells, and plenty of room for all your friends. We caught up with Mark Fisher at the Miami Boat Show to find more about this new Blackwater, as well as the new Deep Impacts uh, from the same factory in Miami. We made it over to Dock 7, and uh, there's a lot going on here. We've got uh, Deep Impact and Blackwater sharing a big spot here. And a lot of people stopping by, to, of course, to look at the Blackwater, this new 43. Mark Fisher with me, who's partnered up with Eugene Uriarte at the factory several years ago, about four or five years ago. But I know that this big monster, if, we, if I can call it that, 43 feet, 11-11 beam, is really the boat that you've been talking about for a long time, and here it is. Yeah, th this boat, you know, the idea was to come up with a bigger boat. We had the 36 Blackwater, which is a great little fish boat and, you know, great all-around boat. But the idea, the market's been moving in the direction of 39s and 43s and 45s. So we, we came up with the idea on a blank piece of paper and started with that and drew this boat and put a lot of thought and time into it. About three years since inception to the finished product, all the stuff that we put into our boating lifestyles, we wanted to get into the boat. So we wanted a good combination of fishing, cruising, pleasure, beach, poker on, whatever you want to do. And uh, this big monster with quad 400s will run over 70 miles an hour, believe it or not. And the range though, you told me, is outstanding. So here we are now with a boat that is a big, heavy, wave-crushing machine. 
uh, traditional bottom non-step 11-11 uh, beam. The weight of the boat is at, where are we at? Dry weight was 18,200 pounds, which yeah. we were right about exactly where we figured we'd be. But the thing you have with this boat is it does have big fuel capacity. Right. If you wanted to load up for a long trip, it holds 850 gallons of fuel, the largest fuel capacity out of any manufacturer available in this size boat on the market today. Now, obviously, let's talk about the interior because we got a lot of creature comforts here. Triple seating rear, another row here, so six uh, in their own uh, cushion bolsters, uh, rear seating, a uh, lot of front seating. So we're talking, uh, this is a boat that you pretty much can take the whole city block with you. You don't have to leave anybody back at home uh, and go out cruising all day long or go on a poker run. Yeah, I mean, poker run, fishing tournament, whatever you want to do, this boat is a perfect hybrid for, for, boat, for all uses. Uh, this boat also has a full cabin compartment inside the console, air-conditioned right. cabin up front where you could sleep in the front, it'll sleep two people. So uh, really great layout of the, and a lot of thought again went into doing all this. The live wells we pushed out to the sides of the bo uh, boat, if you, as you notice at the back of the boat, you, so that way you have the option to have a rear seat in the middle. A lot of these boats with the live well straight across, which we do offer that option as well, yeah. but if you don't fish all the time, you, the back seat has a lot of value. Another thing, Mark, I noticed uh, getting on three-tone sea deck flooring, three levels, three layers of sea deck, uh, black, white, and gray, with the gray being on the top. Something new. It's uh, something that the sea deck people are doing. I haven't seen anybody else do it. Uh, so, where did you guys come up with the idea to do that? It just thought it would be cool to add to the you know comfort of the boat, and uh, it's actually a little thicker, so it's softer than sure. the than the thinner uh, two-color sea deck. The Blackwater 43 is going to make it to the uh, Miami Boat Show Poker Run. 22nd edition going from Miami to Marathon, visiting Ferro Blanca Resort. So that's why we're here today. And uh, so we get to finish off with a ride on the boat. So in the meantime, let's uh, enjoy the show. Thanks, Stu. Well, let's get back to the poker run as we join Rocco. Rocco, all the way from Exeter, New Hampshire. This time he's in a 2011 Nortec 39 center console he got from the Fast Boats Marine Group. In his video bio, we asked him to comment on the event. He said it was awesome. The poker room was very well organized and well done. Well, we appreciate the kind remarks, Rocco. We appreciate your spirit and your enthusiasm. And thanks for taking our photographer, Jerry, on board, as well as our FPC model, Whitney. I'm sure that was a tough decision, but easy on the eyes. Now closing in on Ferro Blanco Resort in Marathon, as we can see, many of the boats have now arrived and uh, started to settle in for the night with lots of activity on the dock here at Ferro Blanco. In fact, we had it set up with tents and bars. There's Jackie checking in her last round of people to get their bags and their goodies and all their swag to take home. And here's a great aerial image from our drone just to show you the nice layout of the marina. And you'll notice still the presence of a lot of transient boaters, yachts, and cruisers that stopped in for the weekend. And I think that it was that eclectic mix of boats and people that made for a very successful weekend here at the Ferro Blanco Resort. Friday night we had set aside for the Florida Powerboat Club Awards Party and to play out the poker cards. And the gang at the Hyatt Place had everything all set up with a private uh, party room. Uh, we had the FPC trailer on site with the girls hamming it up here playing out the poker cards and it was a nice setup outside as well on the event lawn where we put up a huge tent so all together we really had the venue set up nicely for the Friday night party and we want to thank all of our guests all of our sponsors and everyone who attended because this was just a fantastic evening in every way wonderful food excellent service from our catering crew uh, you could dine indoors uh, in the dining room or you could dine outdoors uh, in the tent area either way you still had videos playing from the day from our aerial crews and of course there's Jackie with the ladies playing out the rest of the poker cards meanwhile to keep the momentum of the evening back in the awards tent I enlisted the support of the ladies from team the program to help me with all of the sponsor presentations there's buzz from total dollar insurance cigarette owners accepted the sponsor appreciation award Special thanks to Brett Manier and the gang from Performance Boat Center at Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Mark and Eileen Fisher accepted for Deep Impact Boats and Off Lease Only. Bernie Newhouse accepted for Bob Christie and Team Jersey Strong. David Spear got Best Engines and Rigging for his Chief Engines in his Outer Limits 44. 
David Landsman won most outrageous boat for his 50-foot Outer Limits cat called Team Gold Digger. My wife Jackie presented Megan and Jenny with the most enthusiastic team all the way from Canada on the 40-foot Nortec Roadster. Second place went to Ray Key from Miami with his 39 Deep Impact Team Hammer Time. The Fishers won Best Poker Run Boat for their Deep Impact 399. And the coveted Sexiest Crew Award went to the ladies on Bob Berg's 97 Hargrave, The Program. Now it's time to congratulate all of the winners for the best poker hand, starting with Bobby Kieber on Team Big Bad and Blue, the 35-foot cigarette. He actually left the Florida Keys to go to Miami and turn around and run with the pack, but he lives close by in Big Pine Key. Second place went to Miami's Ray Key in his 39-foot deep impact Team Hammer Time. Ray immediately headed to his boat, cranked up the stereo, and poured himself a big cocktail in his silver trophy cup. And winning first place with the best poker hand, that's Bob and Allie Hooker from Florida in the 43-foot Nortec Team Valley by You. They won great prizes from AO Coolers, Ocean Underwater LED Lights, as well as Superior Communications. With all the awards presented, it was time to crank up the tunes with DJ Stash, a guest on the program yacht. The party continued all weekend long, so this is the completion of Episode 2. We have more coverage of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2017 edition with Episode number 3, featuring all the Saturday Fun Run highlights, Saturday night parties from Marathon in the Florida Keys. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next exciting adventure with members of the Florida Powerboat Club.